Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Aneta Felix. President Muhammad Buhari is presiding over an extraordinary Federal Executive Council meeting at the presidential villa in Abuja. The meeting began at about 12.05 p.m. on Monday and the focus is to deliberate on the 2020 budget proposal. Others in attendance are the Chief of Staff to the President, Abba Kiari, Acting Head of Civil Service of the Federation for Lashade Yemiasa and Cabinet members. The Deputy Speaker of the Taraba State House of Assembly, Mohamed Guampo, has been impeached. Guampo, who is representing Yoru State constituency, was impeached at a plenary session of the House on Monday for lack of competence to discharge his duties. Following his impeachment, the House has elected Charles Maijankia of Karim Lamido One State constituency as the new Deputy Speaker. Former Vice President Atiko Obubakar has described the harassment of young women in universities as unacceptable. This statement is coming after a documentary shot by the BBC showed two lecturers on tape soliciting sex from students in return for favors in the University of Ghana and the University of Lagos. One of the lecturers, Professor Boniface Igbenehu from the Department of European Languages, was caught on camera making sexual demands to offer admission to a supposed 17-year-old. Still on this issue of sexual harassment, the Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, SERAP, has threatened to sue the management of the University of Lagos, Unilag, if the lecturer caught sexually harassing an undercover reporter posing as an admission seeker is not punished. In a tweet, SERAP called on the university authorities to immediately suspend the lecturer, Boniface Igbenehu, within seven days of face legal action. Special Advisor to the President on Economic Matters, Yemi Dipolu, has said that the federal government is set to release 600 billion naira for capital projects within the next three months. Speaking at a conference held by the Securities and Exchange Commission, Dipolu said the overall goal was to enable substantial and landmark transformation of infrastructure projects. A United Nations peacekeeper has been killed and at least four others wounded after their vehicle hit an explosive device in northern Mali on Sunday. According to UN mission uh, spokesman Oliver Salgado, the soldiers had been participating in a patrol near the village of Angolok when the blast hit. 20-year-old Victor Simen has been voted latest player of the month for September following his impressive performance for League One Giants. The Nigerian international received the award at the State Pair Mohua on Sunday. And that's all on the newsroom for today. Many thanks for watching. Bye for now.